Given that the ocean's depths are some of the world's most distant and poorly explored regions, it stands to reason that the organisms that inhabit them are fascinating, odd, and most of all creepy. They have developed to look very different from their shallow water cousins as a result of never seeing the light of day. In the darkest parts of the ocean, where the sun hardly shines, there is much to be terrified of. It is a harsh environment with equally ferocious inhabitants. These animals exhibit a brutal appearance to match their incredible ability to survive water pressure of up to 8 tons per square inch. It takes an extraordinary animal to do this. Let's have a look at our list of the 10 most bizarre looking, terrifying, and spooky creatures that can be found in the deepest areas of the ocean. Some of them are truly the stuff of nightmares. Number 10, Chimera. Chimeras have a distant relationship with sharks. That is why they are also known as ghost sharks. Chimera are creatures that dwell at depths of 8,200 feet or more and inhabit moderate to cold waters all around the planet. There are roughly 47 different species, with lengths ranging from 24 to 80 inches. Their skeleton is made of cartilage instead of bone, which is one of their distinguishing characteristics. The primary sources of food for chimeras are crustaceans, specifically ophiurans and mollusks. Durophages are demersal species today, although they were once more diverse. Forms that were specialist suction feeders in the water column existed throughout the Carboniferous epoch. Number 9, Vampire Squid. Vampire Squid is a tiny cephalopod that can be found in the deepest parts of temperate and tropical oceans. The Vampire Squid can grow as long as 1 feet in total. Depending on the environment and illumination, its 5.9 inches gelatinous body can range in color from velvety jet black to pale reddish. About all of the vampire squid's body is covered in photophores, which are light-producing organs that may emit disorienting flashes of light that can last anywhere from a few nanoseconds to several minutes. They don't even ink or suck their prey's blood, making vampire squids relatively calm and non-venomous creatures. The animal's unusual look and tentacles, which resemble umbrellas, are what make it the most terrifying. Number 8. Deep Sea Dragonfish. The barbel dragonfish, commonly known as the deep sea dragonfish, uses its fang-like teeth to seize prey in the deep water. Dragonfish, like other deep sea animals, have bioluminescent photophores and other characteristics that let them survive at very low depths. They have evolved to have black stomach walls since many of the animals they prey on also produce light on their own. This allows them to hide from predators by digesting their food while keeping the lights hidden. They have fang jaws and a flexible spine that allow them to eat larger food than one might anticipate, making them some of the scariest looking sea monsters known. Number 7, Northern Stargazer. This fish can be found in the United States between the states of North Carolina and New York along the Atlantic coast. Up to 120 feet below the surface, the Northern Stargazer can be found. Stargazers have a flat forehead and a lot of body bulk up front, close to the mouth. Its body is dark brown with white dots all over its head and back that are the same size. On its white tail, it has three dark horizontal stripes. The stargazer's mouth is upward facing so it can ambush prey while skulking in the sand at the bottom of coastal bodies of water. The fish electrically shocks unwary prey into submission when it approaches. Not only is this fish unpleasant to look at, but it is also unpleasant to interact with it. Number 6, Sea Spider. The conventional classification of sea spiders as chelicerates, if accurate, would bring them closer to actual spiders than to other well-known arthropod groups, such as insects or crustaceans, despite the fact that they are neither true spiders nor even arachnids. Contrary to popular belief, genomic data reveals that they could be a sister group to all other living arthropods. More than 1,300 different species of sea spiders can be found all over the world, from shallow coral reefs to depths of thousands of feet. There are some of them with legs that are longer than a foot. A conventional breathing system is not necessary for sea spiders. Instead, gases are taken up by the legs and diffused throughout the body. They can absorb nutrition from soft-bodied invertebrates with the use of a proboscis, and their digestive tract features diverticula that extend into the legs. Number 5, Fangtooth. Another deep sea resident with a name that fits its appearance is the Fangtooth fish. Its teeth, which are abnormally enormous for its body, serve as the ideal prison for prey after being pulled into its mouth. 
fangtooths are actually quite small and harmless to humans, despite being named for their disproportionately large, fang-like teeth and intimidating appearance. The larger of the two species, the common fangtooth, grows to a maximum length of only 6.3 inches, while the shorthorn fangtooth is less than half this size, though it is only currently known from juvenile specimens. Number 4. Japanese Spider Crab A type of marine crab that inhabits the waters surrounding Japan is the Japanese spider crab. It possesses the longest leg span of any known arthropod. To reach its enormous size, it passes through three primary larval phases in a prosol stage. Its armored exoskeleton serves as both concealment and protection against larger predators like octopuses. The crab's rough shell resembles the rocky ocean bottom. It embellishes its shell with sponges and other invertebrates to heighten the deception. A spider crab picks up these organisms and covers itself with them by engaging in a set pattern of behavior. The shelly are used to twist and pull off the creature, such as a worm tube or sponge from the substrate on which it now resides once the crab has picked up the object with its thin key lift. In contrast to other crab species, like the Chilean crab, the Japanese spider crab does not deliberately seek for complementary hues to blend with its environment. Number 3. Lophius. Lophius, sometimes called monkfish, are found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. The body appears to be little more than an appendage, with the head being huge, broad, flat, and sunken. Both jaws are equipped with bands of long, pointed teeth that are angled inward and can be temporarily depressed to remove any obstruction from an object gliding toward the stomach while still preventing its escape from the mouth. The wide mouth wraps around the anterior circumference of the head. Divers have a little higher chance of encountering the monkfish than they would most of the other fish on this list because they don't just live in the deep water. Number 2. Armored Sea Ribbon The family of ray-finned fish known as armored sea robins, sometimes known as armored gurners, inhabits the deep waters of tropical and warm temperate oceans. They often lack teeth and a tongue, but when they have, it is little and forked. There are two distinct dorsal fins. The first has 7 to 9 spines, while the second has between 16 and 23 soft ray segments. There are between 16 and 23 soft rays in the anal fin. The bottom to pectoral fins are unencumbered by the membrane and have short, connected rays. Moreover, it is spike-lined to repel predators. We have no idea why any creature would even consider consuming what resembles a spiky, raw chicken breast. Number 1. Sarcastic Fringehead The sarcastic fringehead is a deep-sea animal that dwells off the west coast of North America. Typically, they are brown in color. Although some have been seen living in man-made items, sarcastic fringeheads are a kind of tube blenny that prefer to hide behind shells or cracks. Moreover, they are a little but tough saltwater fish with a big mouth and a territorially aggressive nature for which their common name was coined. As two fringeheads are engaged in a territorial struggle, they grapple by slapping their swollen mouths against one another in an imitation kiss. As a result, dominance is established since they can tell which fish is bigger. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn all notifications on and comment as well.